What's going on y'all? Everyday Cache here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then I hope you are ready to cultivate your confidence through style because that is what I hope you do. And typically on this channel, we talk like plus size fashion, style and the like. Um, especially for those living the plus size life. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then you definitely need to go ahead and subscribe. In today's video though, I am going <laughs> to look like this for <laughs> a good portion of the video because I am turning myself into a baddie. A couple of weeks ago, my friend texted a group of friends and was like, y'all, I absolutely need a girl's day out. Um, but none of us were busy until, or none of us were free until this weekend. So we all decided that we were gonna go out to a day party don't mind my alarm back there but out to a day party and just kind of chill out you know connect with each other or whatever if you're interested in seeing me go from this whole situation Damn! to this then boo just stay tuned <laughs> let's go So first up, of course, I'm going to start by washing the wig. Um, as you can see, it needs a little love. So I'm just getting it, you know, nice and clean because uh, you can tell it hadn't been washed in a while. And then I'm going to go ahead and condition it. After that, I'm just kind of showing y'all the wig construction. If y'all want a tutorial on how I craft and make my own wigs with loose bundles, I'd be more than happy to share that with you. Just going to rinse this hair out. And then next, I'm actually going to use an old trick um, by using fabric softener to kind of condition the hair and just, you know, make it smell really, really good because at sometimes um, the cap can, you know, get a little stale or whatever. So you just want to make sure that it's thoroughly washed and then let it sit for about 30 minutes or so in the fabric softener. And this smell to really rain through. Disclaimer, I'm not going to be voiceovering this entire video. There are parts where I kind of plug in some vlog segments, so y'all just stay tuned. One eternity later. All right, just an update. The hair is drying, so right now it's the cap that probably needs to dry. You can kind of tell that the strands look a little heavier when it's wet, but in the front, you can tell it's dry because... It just appears dry, but it smells phenomenal. Like it smells so good. So my mom came in and was like, Ooh, this smells so, it smells so good in here. It smells like you used all the fabric softener. You better stop using That's all my fabric. You better stop using all my laundry detergent. I was all wrong. And I had bought the fabric softener yes. for this. I'm trying to figure out the lettuce. Yeah, it's fine. He ain't gonna shred, but a little bit. Right. Okay. So the lettuce looks good. The tomato looks okay. It feels hard. Barbara's trying to make tacos tonight. Again. For dinner. We've had tacos probably I like tacos. seven times we since I've been here. Here is yet another puff that ain't puffy because I took out those banshee looking twists. Um, because I just couldn't wear my hair like that out. So I'm about to... Yeah, this looks real crazy too, but it looks a little better than what I had going on. So I'm about to put on my sneakers. My mom and I are about to run a couple of errands, including going to grab some ingredients and stuff for dinner. And then we're going to come back. And I'm going to continue this like get ready with me situation. Um, so you ready to go? I am. She has on a t-shirt and flare leg jeans. Yeah, I'll put you on <laughs> T-shirt and flare legs. It's all good. Come on, <laughs> All right, let's go. So we're in the beauty supply store, and Barb back there is mad because I told her to stop suggesting what I needed out of here, because I <laughs> because she was making me forget. Look, she don't need nothing down the aisle. I'm glad you came down here, Barb. I needed a um part of my reach. I need a um wheel cap. Bar. that is not for you to see sorry about this silent segment y'all but they were playing music in the store and i had to kill it obviously because of copyright she looked like a little kid in time out <laughs> so my mom is finding uh, good luck with the mayo styling gel so she's thinking about grabbing the hawaiian ginger line but here are some of the options i just need something that's gonna get me together <laughs> So 
So when I returned home, that's when I really got it cracking, y'all. Um, I needed to, you know, take my lifeless and dull and tangled hair and really prep it for, you know, being washed and me being able to give it the attention that it needed. So this is me just separating out into sections um, and kind of softly detangling my hair. I went in with the Babasu and Mint Conditioning Shampoo by Myel Organics and then followed up by the Influence Honey and Almond conditioner which I really really like both of those products so um, this is me just you know like I said section by section going in and washing uh, my hair for shampooing I'd recommend if you have a sensitive scalp or if your scalp um, scratches easily uh, to use the balls of your finger you know as you are kind of massaging the shampoo into your hair don't scratch your scalp um, it of course can you know, gab or cause your scalp to flake you definitely don't want that and then lastly, I just followed up with the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner by Myel Organics, um, which is one of my favorites, but this was my experience in using it this time. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I have conditioner in my hair right now. Um, my hair looks so unhealthy. Like, if y'all could see my ends, they are just... They're fighting for some love. Um, but that process tonight was like not easy. That was my first time washing my hair on camera. That's why I didn't show y'all the um, conditioner portion. And so it's just sitting in my hair right now. So yeah, I'm about to let this sit for a little while, put a processing cap on it, let it sit for a minute and go get the rest of my soul together. Um, and then I will come back, rinse this out, dry my hair, braid my hair. Curl the other hair. I just, I got a lot to do. So I'm letting that conditioner um, sit under a processing cap. And then I want to focus on my face and neck um, by doing a mask by a fresh skincare. So it's the Rose Face Mask. And I'm just applying that to my face, neck, decolletage. Um, and then, of course, I use a cotton, uh, but this is actually like a microfiber t-shirt um, to dry my hair. Lastly, of course, I'm just using a whipped shea butter that I made um, to apply to, you know, my hair, especially my ends, so that they're protected while braiding. Approximately 10 hours later. Good morning. I know it's day two. I'm still looking like this, but the glow up is on the way. Um, so I'm going to um, like get my hair situated because it's still not braided. So I need to braid down my hair. I also, um, as you can probably tell, the wig is also not done. So I need to curl the wig, get that situated. Um, and so I have honestly a lot to do today um, to even be ready. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. Um, yeah, so first let's start out with me getting this hair together, sis, cause I can't, I can't slap a wig on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair. I am stretching my hair with just really, really low heat, but you can see that my ends really need some love. I'm just gonna make sure to oil them really well um and you know try to be gentle with them while i am braiding it but that's the difference y'all look at what shrinkage does to your life mm -hmm. let's get back to it this is just me blow drying my hair and then of course this is me braiding my hair the first and last braid y'all will see on camera because i like to move around while i'm braiding my hair um, just so my arms don't get tired okay sis so here are my braids in no particular fashion i just really needed to get them done so i'm gonna sew this braid so that it stays. Then I'll put a wig cap on to protect it. You know. They use, I wish I could just tuck it, but I think my braids are too good today. That I don't have enough room. Actually, hold on now. <laughs> I think we might be in business. What y'all think? Bam! <laughs> All right, girl, let's move on to this wig. So this is me just using the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine, and I'm just applying it. You can instantly see like the shine that it gives to this hair. Look at that, oh my God. Um, but I'm just applying it all over the hair, all over the strands um, so that it just, you know, looks healthy and is brought back to life. Cause I promise y'all, I had been wearing this wig for like months and hadn't done much to it. So I'm going to be wand curling this hair with the smallest um, wand curler uh, from my wand curls. I don't have like, 
a specific wand curler that I use. Um, but for each strand um, or section of hair, I am applying a little bit of mousse, the John Frieda uh, Frizz Ease um, mousse, and that's just going to help the hair kind of stay because it's summertime. And you know how curls can just go about their business and act like you never um, spent all this time creating them. So this is just me, you know, getting this hair together and finally trying to finish this wig. It took me forever, y'all. I'm just finishing up the wig here. Okay, so last few curls. I would recommend while you're doing this, watch a good show that you like, um, but don't burn yourself, be careful. Lastly, I'm just applying mousse um, and you know, I'm gonna take the hot comb to it. If y'all wanna see again, um, how I create, manage, you know, style, whatever my wigs, like I would be more than happy. Um, frontals, closures, anything, you name it. Uh, I got you. So just let me know in the comments below if y'all wanna see that and I'd be more than happy to give you exactly what you want. And now that's just me trying on the wig, girl. But you can instantly see, like, even the closure looks good just by me slapping it on. I hadn't even tightened the wig or anything like that, so. Ew. All right, I'm going into my makeup, y'all. I promise, like... Ooh, so this was an interesting segment. If you've seen recently my other videos, then you know that I completely threw like most of my makeup away. Um, so, you know, doing my brows with lip liner and I went and bought a new concealer because the other one was just expired and old and crackly. Um, you know, I'm really like struggling here to create a full face of makeup, but it happens. And when I tell y'all, like you don't need all of the products that people say on a tutorial to fill to look good or for your makeup looks to look good I mean it so so as you saw I went in and completed my brows with lip liner and concealer and then I went with Fenty Beauty as my foundation Um, I put a little bit of some, I don't know, really cheap L'Oreal on Super Sale at Ulta uh, eyeshadow on and Max Carbon. And then I went in with Sasha Buttercup Powder to set my concealer under eye and such. I know I'm looking a little um, dry uh, <laughs> and maybe a little gray uh, in these clips. But when y'all see the final product, you're going to be like, ding. Um, went in with just a regular lip liner from like the beauty supply store didn't pay over like a dollar and some change for it and um, caught a Walgreens sale uh, for I believe some L'Oreal or CoverGirl I don't know some mascara anything sis went in with some lashes y'all some old lashes and my sister's lash glue um which i absolutely hate i don't know she left it at my house or in my bag or somewhere when we went out last so um yeah I, I tried to use it but i don't really like it but it worked for the day i usually go with the duo um lash glue that is like my grill like my super staple uh, and then finally i'm just slapping this wig on and kind of situating it as you can see i have quinceanera curls um and so i'm just finger you know detangling those and just kind of and just kind of making them more wavy i even took a brush to it at some points but that part and those baby hairs are looking good i just kind of do like one you know swoop or one baby hair uh to the sides so that was the finished product y'all let me know what y'all think oh there was this really like annoying piece of wig cap that was underneath the closure that was making the closure not sit on the side i don't think i even still fully got it but it worked for the day i was able to kind of knock it out so yeah. Stranger Things got us popping with a little roast beef t-shirt. Super cute. Could wear these with some ego official um, or public desire like neon orange heels. Bump. This is really cute. How much is it? It's $12.99. That's cute. That's worth having. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so I got to my friend's house. Y'all can see my makeup and see how it like didn't show up as crazy like in person, you know what I mean? As it did on camera. Um, I need to reapply some lip liner, but this is my outfit. A pair of shorts, a t-shirt, gonna wear some heels. 
And we day party ready. So I lied. I completely forgot that um, I was going to put on some fishnets. So I'm just showing y'all those here. And then I wore some orange Ego official um, heels that like completely matched the uh, roast beef tea. It was a perfect fit. I finally got dressed. I'm ready. The get ready with me is coming to an end. But it can't come to an end without hey. everybody saying hey. hey. Y'all say hey. Well, I'm going to drop everybody's handle hey. below. Hey. But... Hey. YouTube channel. So do you go like live and stuff? No, I don't. I haven't gone live yet because I don't feel like I have enough subscribers to go live. Oh, I got 2,000 yeah. subscribers. Oh, that's a lot. 2,000. But if my subscribers want me to go live, I'll go live. So y'all gotta let me know in the comments below. Do y'all want me to go live? But yeah, so far it's up. So we're about to go to a day party. Everybody is shotting up, grabbing snacks, getting food. Drinking drink, drink. <laughs> and um, I think I'm gonna take y'all with me. Would y'all like to see what's happening in the day party? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take y'all with me. So, y'all gotta watch me at that place. Look at her. Yeah. All right, y'all. So. I think we're about to call it. <laughs> I hope y'all can see, cause I ain't put on no flash. Are y'all ready to move? 